Hey everybody, tonight I'm going to be installing this new central storage server unit that I get to install in my rig. So I'm doing all this so I can speed up my render times. I'm going to be doing all the work on the computer and the computer is going to be transferring the data 10 gigabytes per second, reading and writing all the data directly to these solid state drives within the NAS server. This NAS server is a computer. It has its own CPU and it's gonna have these two solid state drives to be used as caches for all the storage that I use back and forth, reading and writing in real time. In the background, it's gonna be writing and reading some of this, all that data to these old mechanical drives. Now these mechanical drives um, can go between two terabytes right up to about 18 terabytes. These two I have here in particular are 16 terabytes. There's about eight bays that fit within the Synology unit. And when you put it all together, it could hold about 144 terabytes of storage. Now that's exactly what I need in my workflow. You see, I've been using Houdini, and Houdini is a 3D application software used in visual effects and movies. And the types of scenes that I've been working on recently have to do with water, oceans, flip tanks, and particularly, boat chase scenes that I'm working on for a film and other projects. And because there's so much information going back and forth, it's just absolutely necessary that I have some type of storage server that allows me to store all that data and work directly to that source in real time or as fast as possible. So I'm really excited about this because years ago, this entire setup, including a switcher that is 10 gigabytes per second for the home network, this would have ran roughly around like eight, ten thousand dollars alone. It would have probably been a rack mount, but things are a lot simpler now, so let's get started. Right, so I'm going to start with the upgrades now and the first upgrade that I'm going to be doing is inserting these two M.2 um, solid state drives that are going to be used for the cache in the uh, NAS server and then I'm going to be installing this um, 10 gigabyte ethernet port at the back of the server so here's how we do it. Finally got it done and it's all set up. I've got it on the desktop for now. I know this desktop might look a little weird to you right now because there's no glass or anything like that. But um, long story short, I'm actually getting one of the fans for the second CPU replaced. So I'm just waiting for that to come in right now. And because I only have one CPU on there, not all the PCI slots are available work with the PC with the CPU one. Um, I believe it's only um, PCI Express 2, 3, and 4 that are working. So therefore, my GPU and the um, my uh, adapter, my network adapter card that is 10 gigabytes a second right here is so close to one another and the ventilation sucks. It's not um, sustainable for the long term. So right now I have this case open until I get my new fan. And then once I have that, I'll be able to move that up to a higher um, PCI Express slot. So one of the lovely things about this new Synology here is that uh, Synology decided to go with Ryzen CPUs for this one. And these ones are really great CPUs um, when you compare the performance versus power consumption. So this Synology is also great because it uses Synology Hybrid RAID. It's one of the most flexible and highly used um, top tier uh, RAID systems. 
So basically, it just allows us to mix and match hard drives very easily without any bottlenecks. So as you guys saw earlier, this system has two NVMe SSD cards uh, that allow for higher IOPS outputs, which means it's basically caching and doing all the caching for these older mechanical drives that are in the base. What's so great about Synology, and you can tell by uh, just researching them, is that they do have a lot of experience in the NAS market, and they pump in a lot of their revenues into their research and development, particularly in their software and their applications. They've got a lot of stuff, a lot of really useful tools, and then every year that they come up with new expansions and new products, um, a lot of the stuff that they come out with is actually useful um, and it's easy to use. Um, I really like what they've been doing with their caching. They hit it hard for the past two years and really did a lot of research and development on it and really hit it out of the park to speed up the read and write workflow. And it helps guys like me that can basically take a small system and it's kind of like a small studio that I've gotten here now. Years ago, 10 years ago, this would not be possible. The kind of output that I'm getting out of this and the kind of speeds that I'm getting for writing and reading and now with rendering with this new GPU and the 3090, um, the technology finally caught up to my workflow. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a real quick one. I just wanted to get it up and running and show you guys what it's like. If you guys like this video, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm gonna be doing many more videos, including things that have to do with performance, monitoring, testing, and even more importantly, security to make sure that the data and the information there is safe and secure. So until next time, peace.